Hi, my name is David Markham. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and um, I see people individually and sometimes I work with couples and I work with families. On October 31st, 2008, I will have been in the field for 40 years. I'm 62 years old. My ex-wife and I were married when we were 20 and we were married for 35 years and she and I had nine children together and now we have 12 grandchildren. As part of my practice uh, I try to help couples with their marriage and as I've reflected on marriage over the years I've learned some things that I think might be beneficial uh, to share with folks and so I am going to be making a series of videos on marriage and uh, this is the first video and I want to share with you briefly um, some ideas about the purpose of marriage. We live in a culture that romanticizes marriage. So the great myth in our society is that you fall in love and you get married and you live happily ever after. Anybody who has been married for a while, particularly if people have been married, have been unhappy, got divorced, will tell you that that myth certainly is not true. And like Tina Turner said in a great song, What's love got to do, it, do with it? Just marrying somebody because you love them <clears throat> is not a good reason. When you're looking for a life partner, there are other qualities and characteristics which would be probably much more important to you. You probably would like a partner who is honest, dependable, reliable, someone who you can confide in and be yourself with, someone who you can work out differences and disagreements with in a constructive manner, someone who you can enjoy spending time with. Happily married couples, when asked what are the factors that contribute to their happiness, say that the most important thing is that my spouse is my very best friend. The purpose of marriage in the history of our society has changed dramatically over the years uh, up until about 50 years ago. The purpose of marriage primarily was an economic institution and it was an economic institution because the primary function of marriage was the procreation and raising of children. And that, of course, ensures the survival of our species. <coughs> Women pregnant and with dependent children obviously need support <coughs> and assistance so that they can adequately care for those dependent children. In 1959, Dr. John Rock invented the birth control pill. And so, for the first time, women have control over their own fertility. Since 1959-1960, we have seen tremendous changes in our society. Women have been able to go 